Yeah. So I've done quite a few electric modes of transportation on this channel, and so far so good. I've had some scooters, some bikes, some hoverboards. I'm able to ride all those very safely and have a good time. Now, today, we have an electric skateboard, which I've always wanted, but the catch is, the last time I stood on a regular skateboard, I couldn't do it. Granted, that was about 10 years ago, and since then, I've been able to ride a hoverboard, which I feel like is kind of the same experience, because you have to kind of balance on it. So hopefully, I'll be able to ride this thing without busting my face. So this particular skateboard right here comes in a variety of different designs and colors. I just kept it simple with just the straight up carbon because I don't want to show off too much when I face plant or something, you know? It's rated to travel just under 10 miles of range at up to 20 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a skateboard, I think. I've never ridden a skateboard, so I don't know. And I'm sure some professionals can go like 40 or something. Is that possible? Maybe on an electric one. It's weighing in at just under 9 pounds and can support a rider up to 180 pounds. So. You know what, to be honest, that's not actually that high, so this is probably more for kids or something. Maybe I could ride it then. So with all that being said, I'm actually pretty excited to try out my first electric skateboard here. <laughs> this is going to be a fun time, hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh boy, here we go. We got the skateboard here, it has a nice little handle so you can carry it around. Just get all this foam. Ugh. Looking very nice. Sticky plastic. <laughs> What's up with these wheels, guys? Yo, these wheels are like super glossy. It was sticking to the plastic, but they're very rubberized. Alright, feels nice and smooth. Is my table not flat or is the skateboard not flat? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's the table. <laughs> Alright, so we got a nice deck here, very grippy, just like a skateboard. So, as you can see, this isn't like a skateboard, it's more of a longboard, so there's that. So, I feel like I wanna say a longboard's easier to ride than a regular skateboard, maybe, hopefully. Fingers crossed, just for me. As you can see, black on top, down on the bottom, just solid wood, along with the battery pack. Now, without the battery pack, this is just a regular longboard because you won't be able to power the motors. But over here, we have the power button, which you can press. And, okay, we have about 50% charge, so that's not too bad. We can actually get rolling without even charging it. Nice, but you don't want to get stranded, so you might want to charge it up first. Easy one touch on and off, and really, that's it. Over on this other side, though, this is where we actually have the charging port, and it's actually covered up with a weatherproof rubber stopper to keep water out in case you ride this through the water, although I don't think they recommend riding it through water, but, you know, it's going to happen. You're going to ride through puddles or something. So, very simple design. Nice! Let's see, the edges of the wood, nice and smooth. No rough edges, nice. Inside the box, I have a power cable, a tool so you can fix things in case something goes wrong, a micro USB cable, as well as the remote control that's gonna allow you to control the skateboard, and I guess this charges with, yep, there it is, micro USB. So that's the main thing I'm not liking. The remote control is micro USB. Why isn't it type C? I guess it is what it is, but you need the remote control to control the skateboard, so don't lose this. And we also have a user manual in case you, wait, a fish board? A fish board? I'm, I'm not really up with the lingo of skateboards, so I don't know, but it's very cool. So this probably isn't the best idea in the entire world, but let's, let's check this out real quick. So look at the remote control, we have the power button here, simply tap it to power it on. Oh, it actually gives you the battery percentage of the skateboard, as well as your Wi-Fi wireless connection to the skateboard, as well as a battery indicator like for the remote control itself. And then up here we have reverse, so you can actually, oh, I didn't even think of that. You can make it go forward or back, and I'm not, I don't know which way is forward and back, but you can flip it around. Reverse, reverse, pretty cool. And then over here we have the acceleration handle, so you go forward to go faster, back to brake, nice. And then we have high, medium, and low settings. So I'm going to probably start off on low, and then on the back, nothing. And then we even have a little lanyard here, so you don't lose this while you're riding. I mean, it feels good in the hand. Very nice. Very lightweight. Just plastic. It is what it is. So, now my dumb idea, I'm going to get this powered on. It's flashing the Wi-Fi indicator, which I'm assuming means it's on. So I'm going to, let's go. Whoa! It's on! I don't know why it's still flashing. I don't really like that. I feel like it should just be solid. Okay, so that's brake, so now I'm gonna put it in reverse. 
Oh, so when it's in reverse, it lights up red. So that's cool. So we can go. Oh, this is actually very cool. Okay, it's very responsive. Oh, I forgot I had a break. Okay, so we're gonna go break. Go break. Go break. It's actually working very well. Go break. <laughs> Yeah, if I did that while I'm riding it, I'm dead. So, very nice. It's actually very easy to control. Now, that's in low mode. I'm going to put it in high mode real quick. Okay, it's definitely faster. Whoa, that thing picks up speed fast. What was it, up to like 12 miles per hour? Okay, I'm excited and scared at the same time to ride this thing, but it's time. We're going to head outside, put this to the test, and... I guess put me to the test to see if I can ride an electric skateboard. Wish me luck. All right, guys, got the longboard out here and I am ready to possibly die. Although this time, unlike with the scooters, because I know how to ride scooters, even though you should have a helmet, I usually don't because I know how to ride them. But I got the helmet here because I don't know how to ride a skateboard and I want to be better safe than sorry. Okay, this is actually good at blocking the sun, so that's nice. But I got it on here, got my cranium protected, got the remote control here, and we're about to, about to ride. We got a long open road right here. I'm pretty excited, guys. So I'm gonna power this thing on. We got the lights. Now I gotta power on the skateboard itself. where the button go? Right here. Oh, it is on fully charged. Wait, which, which way is the front? I think this is the front. I'm gonna just test it first. So I'm on low mode first to start. Amateur, accelerate. Oh, it goes. Then I can reverse it. All right, it seems easy enough. So let's go. All right. Okay, this is <laughs> yikes, man. This is just how it was when I tried to ride a skateboard last time. How do you do this? It doesn't stay still. Okay, I have the brake on now. I put the brake on so I could stand on it. Oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> so it rolls freely like a regular skateboard unless you have the brake on and then it stops it. Oh my gosh. I'm doing it. <laughs> Bruh, how do people ride these things? I don't know. <laughs> like that maybe? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel scared. <laughs> I mean, it's going really slow, so it shouldn't be too hard. Why is it? Okay. Yo. Okay, I think it might be this thing messing with my vision. So let me just take that off. <laughs> wow, I did not think this would be this hard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? I mean, it's all about balance. That's how you turn. I feel like this can barely support my weight even though I'm going slow. Okay, I can't go, I gotta go straight. I mean, the wheels turn as you tilt, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair, this is actually pretty slow for being in fast mode. <laughs> Thought it would be a lot faster. Seriously, respect to skaters out there. This is hard. Although you see like, you kind of get the hang of it. It's got to find your balance. Yeah. 
I definitely would feel a lot more comfortable if I had more protection on my body. Because I really feel like I'm going to fall off. So, oh, I mean, you just got to trust that you're not going to fall off when you're leaning like that. Like, it leans far. <laughs> and you might just actually fall off. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. After a while, you except for all these rocks, you start getting the hang of it. So, I mean, I can see with practice, you'll get perfect. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now like professional. Oh my god, my god, my god. <laughs> Almost! <laughs> I mean, I'm doing it. This is actually really cool. If I just rode this around here for a couple of days, I'd probably be a professional by the end of the week. I'm digging it. I mean, I'm just cruising. Still, I wouldn't trust myself around other people. Okay. Uh, you see, like, it, the brake didn't really stop. It just started slowing down, but didn't slow down fast enough. So, let's see if I can reverse back. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I gotta turn. Jeez. Backwards, it's weird. I can only go with my right side forward. <laughs> and even that's pretty hard. I mean, I'm just chilling. See, I'm slowing down. The brake's fully engaged. Whew. I mean, guys, what do you think? Did I do a good job for my first time riding? I feel like I did a decent job. I mean, I feel like I'll definitely get the hang of this. It's pretty cool. I mean, I could definitely recommend this, although I could feel like this is definitely for more of like the younger crowd because it's not that fast. Now I know if you're a professional, you want this thing to go fast because you're used to going to high speeds on a regular skateboard. But for me, this is perfect, you know, for a beginner. I feel like maybe it's my imagination. I feel like it's skinny for me. Like, I don't know, I'm heavy for this one. <laughs> I feel like that, I don't know. Maybe it's my mind and never used this before so it's a problem it's my first time so maybe i can figure it and me use before similar or same I, and it's more difficult for me <laughs> to turn out so it goes a lot faster without weight on it so maybe i'm really close to the weight limit because the weight limit is very low maybe in 2000 times i can ride very faster and professional yes like, look how fast it goes. But watch, once I get on it. Look at this. So much slower. <laughs> so that's definitely an issue there. So if you're a younger kid, you're light in weight, this thing will be great for you. But if you're older, I mean, it's good to start out and try to learn how to use it. I can give it some thumbs up for that. Okay.